Oh, right, and good morning. We're on the, we're actually, as you can see, it's very tough mortar now. Actually, how can you see? Right, it's a little update, if you can even hear me. It, uh, it is tough mortar. <laughs> so, that's, what's that ass? Oh. Right, good morning. It is a Saturday morning, the Saturday of this Jubilee weekend or whatever. So what's the date then? Has it been the 3rd? Uh, yes, 3rd, yeah, 3rd of June. Um, and this is actually the start of a bigger project uh, eventually. So today we're doing a, a lintel, you guessed it. So we're doing this one today and then eventually we're doing them ones up there. Is that one being done too? The whole lot, yeah. The whole lot, so this whole back's being done eventually but since we're in between concretes jobs on the uh, extent on one of the extensions, with uh, customers kind of let us come over and start one of uh, the lintels. So that's just getting the the dust sheet ready now. Again, kindly provided by the customer since we forgot. But we're all set up to go. I think um, we've got got our power, got the recipper ready, got the acros mixers ready, sand cements all over. Here's our lintel. A good old. Angle iron. Got our insulation. Yeah, I think I think we've got everything this time, which makes a nice change. Yeah, we just got the dust sheets to cover these lovely timber windows. Yeah, but thankfully, custom had them. So, well, you know the song and dance of lintel jobs. So I'll get you set up, and let's just pray that this mortar's uh, nice and soft, unlike the last one we did. Don't hold my breath. breath. Doesn't look good. All right. Oh, I'll see you in a minute then. Right, if you can hear me, it's a quick update. As you can see, Dad's in there with the recipo now, but unfortunately, it is tough mortar. <laughs> so, what he's had to do is, he's gonna cut through it with the grinder, so he's got the bulk of it out, and he's gonna try and get the rest of it with the recipo, so that way, we're not knackering the blade so much. But, thankfully, it's not as hard as the last lintel job, so it just pops off, but it doesn't help trying to get them out in the first place, so. It's just a quick update for you, I'll let you uh, keep watching. Thank you very much. Right, this one's putting up a fight. So we know when we come back for this one, we're bringing the still saw. Because the still saw will give us a 100mm cut. So it's going to be dusty, but if we don't use a still saw, it's going to take us all day just to get the brick out. It's a, I'm pretty sure it's sand and cement, so it's a very strong line mix. So it pops off the bricks for out, it's cleaning up, but it's, it's very hard to get out. So I'm just showing you this. We always go three courses up, so we're 150 above the, well, more than 150 above the lintel. And look at this in the in the cavity. I've not seen any sign of a tray yet. But, um, yeah. I don't think there's been, like, there's a whole hole there where a waste pipe used to come out. So obviously when that's been punched through, all the shites fell down the cavity. So yeah, we've, we've, I've gone through with the electric grinder, which takes you probably two thirds of the way through. 
the rest of it just needs popping out now and we can start once I get another couple of bricks out we'll get the props up and then get the rest out and as usual it'll probably be about dinner time by then and then get it back in this afternoon so we'll stick you back up here and time lapse again uh, while we get this get a bit more of this out yeah catch you in a bit There we go, nearly there. Our two props are in. That side's out. Um, you can see there's a RSJ on the other window. I think, yeah, is that an RSJ there? This window, don't know what we've got. Once we get all this muck out, I'll have a look. I'll we'll probably just go over the top of this tray. It's a bitumen tray, so I'm not sure if it's working or not, but it probably is. It's not stopped the lintel, lintel rusting now. It's good old rust. So yeah, it's getting on for 10 o'clock, it's gonna go for a quick break. We've just got this section to take out then. Um, we couldn't have done this one without power tools. The mortar's quite tough. So we've had to grind it, then drill it, and then rip sippo saw it. So it's, it's putting up a fight. But once you get that top, top joint out, everything just comes out nice. See, it's all quite loose. So usual script, have a break, get back, brick work out, get everything cleaned up and start putting everything back together again. So we'll see after break time. And it's after break. We, well we, Dad's almost got all the bricks out now. Both that crew's doing, I'm sure he's showing you already, but just, just that little chunk left. Let me hop up here, because uh, I want to show you this cavity. How's that? It's a bit of a disgrace, shall we say? Is that is that meant to be the tray? Yeah. So there's the, the crusty ass tray. There you go. And then there's the lintel underneath. So, needless to say, it's in dire need of a change. And if that's what that lintel's like, you can bet all of them will be like that, so. But yeah, so good progress is being made. Thankfully, just uh, those those bottom two courses, the mortar's coming out lovely, so we're getting, uh, getting most of them ready now, so. So yeah, I'll uh, pass you up to Dad and he can uh, set you up. Just doing these last few coming out.
So now that dad's more or less ready with that, I'm gonna start getting this mix on. And we finally come to a rough gauge of how we want our mixes now because we used to just do half a mix and we'd have tons left over, which would just be have like we have like two or three bags just of just more to throw away. So we've now managed to gauge it a little bit more. This this is a 2100 lintel. We're going to need about a third of a mix. So the way that works for us is one big bag of fairwood sand because uh, the big ones are 40 kilogram bags plus a tiny bit more and probably half of that bag since as you can see this is kind of uh, demolished and a lot of the cement's gone so half of that which will make it up to a third ish and then that sand febs in for easy mixability and uh, better use that's where we use that and yeah so I'll get you set up here, so I'll do that. Dad's almost finished, so catch you in a minute. There you have it, that was a nice quick one. Bloody messy as well, that cement bag. It's evil. It's bloody spat cement everywhere on me, but that's roughly about how much we'll need. I may put a little bit more sand in that, but that's surprisingly all we need for that, because it's just a few bricks. Let's see how Dad's getting on. How's it looking? A bit cleaner. Is the, well, there you go. There's the tray. Beautiful. <coughs> Let's have a look at this lintel. <clears throat> it's a bit rusty, isn't it? Yeah, a couple of spots are really bad. Yeah. All it takes is a few spots to ruin the uh, brickwork above. And as, as weird as it sounds, it's nice to see a, a knackered lintel like this because it means this is no longer going to be in the house. It's going to be a nice proper galvanized steel one going in. So it's always satisfying to see, to see these come out at least anyway. But, alright, is that you done then with the bricks? Uh, yeah. Look at the T-shaped concrete lintel. T-shaped? Oh yeah. I've never seen one of them before. No. We're gonna nail the we're gonna nail the tray on. Nail it on, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. another thing as well. We we have our cavity trays in properly as well. So that means you're done with the power tools, isn't it? Yeah. Happy days. So I'll clean these up while dad has a sort out. Yeah. And I'll get you set up. I need to get them there. Um, where's your trial at? Yeah, the chisel. Hammer, hammer. You're still there, yeah. Yeah. You've got a pair of things, it's pretty much still in there. You've got a little one. Oh. Oh, that's just so long ago. Yeah. I think it's popped. Yeah, it's all popped. Okay. Do you want to feed it out your way? Yeah, we'll tip it forward we'll get a little it. Yep. Yeah. That's mine to lift it back. Oh, hold your fire one sec, let me just move mine. Can it spin any more? Right, have you got that?
So what that finishes off, but I'll show you. This is why we do these jobs. Look at the state of that. But now, to some people that might not look like much, but if you look at that, that rust there, that's all that needs to raise the brickwork. And when it raises the brickwork, I'm sure Dad's told you this a million times, that's where it starts to crack everything and you get all the ugly cracks above your windows. It's most likely because your lintels have rusted, you started to push your brickwork up. So, and if you look here, there's that, and that's what's going in. So the bricks can sit on there nicely with galvanized steel so it won't rust. That's half the reason why we do these replacements because we're replacing them with better quality lintels that are galvanized so they won't be rusting and they'll just they'll last way longer than their predecessors. They've done the job for the longest time but round about now all these lintels are starting to rust around and start lifting stuff up. That's why we've been on so many lintel jobs. But there you go, this is just a little why we do it. Mix is ready, so once Dad's ready, get the tray in, get the lintel in, get these bricks in. And uh, it's always nice and satisfying when all the power tools are done with, because now they're all packed away. Oh, some damn course there. But I, that's it, that's the job. Oh, <laughs> I'll send you back up there. There we go. What time are we now? Half eleven, I'm guessing. Let's find out. Twenty-five past. Ain't not bad. And we're all ready to go. Everything's out. Everything's spotless. I've just spent a good half an hour cleaning up in that cavity. That was solid from lintel to about there, all that section there. So I don't know what's been going on up there. It looks like. Yeah, if you look at next door, it looks like an extra window's been put in. Yeah, it looks like a new window, that. Yeah, if you look at next door, there's two windows on the back. This one, this house has got three. So when they put this window in, they made a right shitty mess in the cavity. So we've got the bulk of it out. So not they weren't suffering from damp, but they definitely won't be suffering from damp now. If you're doing this, you've got it opened up, and you see that, take it out. Don't just leave it. Because... It could, it could come back to bite you, that could that could start leaking after and it looks like it's your fault then. Plus it's just good practice to keep the cavity clean, I always do that, I always keep the cavity as clean as I can, as far as I can reach it. So we're all set here now. Uh, I took that half out because it was, the face was cracked. So what I'm going to do is spin it, cut it down, spin it, put it back in. Then we're ready for lintel and cavity tray. Cavity tray is just going to get um, sealed and nailed on to the thermalite blocks. It's a 70s house, but it's got thermalites on it. So, ahead of its time. And, yeah, that's it. I'm not sure if that's called one, called a boot lintel that Martin goes on about in the um, comments a lot. I'm guessing that's what it is. It looks like a fence post, but it's not. So, yeah, we can't go into that, so we're going to go above it. And we can't put an upstand on our tray here because our full bricks here so we're gonna have to do something with it let's get cracking Tell you what, have you got, um, have you got the pencil and um, 
six foot level. Put six foot level in the garage. Yep. Get a pencil and a four foot level, put the line up and follow it in. Okay? Just hold it. No, if, if you put a straight line up, it doesn't kink. Well, we'll get them for you. Okay. 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 Brilliant little nails then. Meant for a meant for a gun but these are just on the floor on site so we always just pick them up, put them in the bag. And then we've um, got some from berries. Yeah, I think Yeah. Right, you start. Put it right to the end, to the cavity. to um, get some There we go, nicely tucked back in. This is going to be stuck back with silicon, pointed back in so it's all nice and smooth. And a bit of a corner up ready for running in. Trays in, sealed. Going to put some extra insulation in there where all the shite was blocking the cavity, and then a strip across there. As you've seen, we've already insulated it behind the lintel. So we're going to get a quick dinner now and get it all back, put back in. So we'll catch you after dinner.
Repeat that time. Three o'clock. Three o'clock. And after the last little job we did, which was an absolute horrendous, horrendous yeah. job, we've actually had a straightforward one. It started off putting up a fight, but um, with the right tools, you can get it sorted. So, all done. New lintel, as you can see, all resealed. Didn't need a trim on this because the timber windows. Obviously, the windows need a clean. They're, just, they're dusty, but they are clean. We've had them covered with a sheet. Took the three courses out. The, the cavity was clogged up as usual, but all the way up here as well. So all that's been cleared out. Extra insulation put in. New lintel, new new wheat vents, which are there. When people say, "Where are your wheat vents?" There's actually seven. Next job is this one, which we're going to come back and do on Monday. So we're going to head off to Berry's first thing Monday and pick the lintel up for that. We might pick all the lintels up while we're there. Um, yeah, we, we need um, another trestle of four extra planks for the extra width because it's a 2.7 lintel. Um, we need an extra acro and we're going to bring strong boys in for that. So we're going to have three strong boys. So um, yeah, all done. The straightforward one. So um, yeah. We, uh, we might film the others. I mean, if anything happens differently, we'll, we'll see anyway. Right, and that should be the end of that. So if you enjoyed watching this, be sure to give it a like because that's greatly appreciated. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit subscribe and hit that bell so you're notified whenever we upload a video. Again, we really appreciate that because that's a massive help for us. Uh, yeah, so this has been Brickley with Steve and Alex and we'll see you in the next one.